Hello everyone and welcome back to Gay Joe Crafts. I'm Sarah Skelly and today I wanted to tell you about all of the new products that are coming out from us um, at the Sheep and Wool Festival and then just after that um, at the beginning of October. So um, if you follow us on social media on Facebook or Instagram, um, and if you don't, why aren't you? Um, but if you follow us there, uh, or if you're a newsletter subscriber, you've probably seen me mention these things. Um, but I wanted to make sure that all of the YouTube subscribers also um, are, have a heads up on these and to elaborate and tell you a little bit of the backstory um, behind each of the new products that we're going to be releasing in the next week or so. Um, the first is uh, two new patterns. One is the hat pattern that I'm wearing, um, which I'll tell you about in just a second. And the other um, is one that I'm particularly proud of. Uh, it is a double knit cowl, um, which I figured out you can also wear as a headband. Um, and it's a project that is inspired by the forest that grows around our house. Uh, we have about seven acres of forest on our land. It's about two thirds of the property that we own. And we often go back there um, to walk the dog or just get some exercise. Um, it's, it's nice, it's like a whole other world. And so I love going to the forest and so I designed this cowl um, that picks up on some of the shapes and some of the plants and colors that we have at our property. Um, this is called the forest floor cowl. And as you'll see, it's also reversible. Um, and I think it's a little easier to see the design on this side. So here we have ferns. And this little guy right here is a trillium, um, which grows in the spring. It's a little um, three-leafed and three-flowered plant. And they're beautiful um, and, and somewhat rare. Um, so it's always fun to find those growing. Um, the reason I chose double knitting for this um, one is I like a challenge, but also with this open color work here, um, that would be difficult to do either in intarsia because it's so sparse. There's not really a block of one color. Um, and it would also be difficult to do in typical two-stranded uh, knitting like Fair Isle because you have such big gaps um, between some of these elements. So I thought double knitting would kind of solve that problem, and it does. Um, it makes a lovely, warm, cuddly fabric. Like I said, it's, it's two-sided, so it comes in three colors. Um, that was the fern. This one is called jewelweed, and this is just a swatch, um, but it, you can see it's a lovely orange color. And that picks up on the jewelweed that I also use for natural dyeing um, sometimes. I've talked about that in a previous video. And then the third colorway is this more neutral kind of taupe I'm calling mushroom. Um, the contrasting is not cream or not pure cream. It actually does have quite a bit of kind of a, a gray brown in there, um, but it's a nice neutral. It would go with, you know, different outfits. And this whole pattern is going to come as a kit that you'll be able to um, purchase in just a few days. So the way the kit works, I have an example here, is you're gonna get this cute little gift box and we'll open that up and you can see that there's two balls of yarn inside. Um, you'll have the pattern, of course, and I'm also going to um, figure out a way to give you a Ravelry download if you buy the physical kit um, at the Sheep and Wool Festival. And the kit will also come with a lotion bar. Now this doesn't look like much and it doesn't actually have a product in it. Um, but what this is, is a, a roll-on hard lotion and it's one of the other products that I've been working on. Um, so for a long time, I've been using another brand of a, a hard lotion bar, one that has beeswax in it and is sort of like a lip balm. Um, but the thing I didn't like about that product was one, it came in a tin and you have to take the whole product out of the tin in order to use it. And sometimes I don't want to get lotion on two hands. I just want to put it on one particular place. Um, and the other thing is that I was looking into making some locally sourced skincare products and I wanted to source those from just within Vermont if I could. Now I didn't think that it was really possible when I kind of started out on this venture about eight months ago, I started doing some research. Um, but I came across some ingredients that we do have readily available, and those are animal fats. 
namely lard and tallow from 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef and pork that grow in the area. And um, these are these are wonderful things. It may sound weird to s the, the idea of smearing animal fat on your skin, um, but it is actually quite compatible. It has tons of vitamins in it naturally. Um, it doesn't have any kind of weird smell or weird sticky residue. It actually absorbs into your skin and is very skin compatible because it has the same kinds of oils and fats that we naturally secrete on our skin. Um, and I've been using my own products for probably about six months now. I use them on my face. I don't know if you can tell. My skin's been a lot clearer lately. Um, and I use them on my hands when my hands are chapped anytime you want some lotion. So we have two forms of these new lotion products. One is the solid bar that I mentioned before. And that's great for your hands, your feet, your elbows, anywhere that might get especially chapped or dry in the winter time. And then the other one is going to be a cream that you might use on your face um, or anywhere where you want a slightly lighter product. And like I said, I've been using that one on my face for about six months and I've really noticed a difference. Um, it's, it's not a miracle pill by any means, but it is definitely more effective than the, the kind of so-called natural lotion that I was using before, which it turned out was just full of fillers and chemicals and things when I actually started Read Label. Um, I'll link to a little bit more about the ingredients and kind of the philosophy behind these two products, but because they're new and they're coming out, I wanted to mention them. Now you're going to be able to get the knitting kit and the two different kinds of lotion at the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival coming up. Sorry, there's an angry squirrel over here. Be quiet, we're trying to do this video. <laughs> He's not very happy with me. Um, Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna premiere um, these products at the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival, which is coming up the 29th and 30th of September. So just in a few days, this upcoming weekend, if you're watching this video the day it comes out, and you'll be able to sample and buy the products there. If you're not local or if you're not able to make it to the festival, I am going to put the products up online available for sale as well. So we're gonna have a little storefront that's um, gonna be opening in a few days. You'll be able to pre-order the knitting kits for the forest floor cowl, and you'll also be able to purchase the two um, types of lotions, and those come in several different uh, scents. I'm actually using essential oils, um, as well as an unscented version for people like me that don't like strong uh, smells in their products. So that's all very exciting. It's It's been a long journey. Like I said, if you've been following us for a while, you've seen a lot of previews and allusions to these things but they're finally coming out, so yay. Um, the other thing that is coming out, like I said, is this hat pattern that I'm wearing now. And this was actually the first pattern I ever took the time to really write out step by step, uh, sort of for myself. And um, then I did release it a couple of years ago. Now I've, I've learned a lot since I first wrote this pattern and I've learned some of what not to do. Um, the first pattern was fine, it was perfectly serviceable, but I'm a much better knitter, much more experienced now, and I think that makes me a better designer as well. So I'm very excited to premiere this hat. It's going to come in three different sizes. I'm wearing the medium size, which would be an adult small. Um, it comes in a smaller size, and this would be great for someone like my mom who has a small head, um, or even a youth size could use this one. And then a large for a large adult head. And this is the sample in that size. So you can see it's a bit bigger than the one I'm wearing. Um, and I'm really excited about this pattern. It's very simple. It's a knit and purl stitches. Um, the decreases are worked invisibly into the crown. So you don't really see any kind of shaping around the crown. It just sort of magically decreases. Um, and it's a good unisex pattern. I think it looks good on you know, whether you're sort of more butch or more feminine um, in your in your style of dress. Um, I think it goes with a lot of different kinds of styles. It can be worn just to the slopes or around the campfire. Um, I think depending on the yarn that you chose, you could maybe dress it up, maybe a tweed or a speckle. The two um, sample yarns that I chose um, are two locally produced yarns. So this one is from Jill Draper of Jill Draper Makes Stuff. She's in upstate New York, and she designs and has spun all of her yarns um, in regional mills, and she dyes all of it herself. 
Um, and I've mentioned her before here. I'm a big fan of hers and her work. Um, so that's Jill Draper yarn. This is a Cormo and it's super spongy and soft. Um, and then the other yarn is a Vermont yarn. This one and the hat I'm wearing are made with a yarn by Green Mountain Spinnery, um, which is down in Putney, Vermont. And they've spun yarns for our farm in the past, um, but they also have their own, uh, several of their own lines of yarns, and including this one. And it comes in a really cool, kind of a heathery color. The, the wool is dyed before the yarn is spun, so you get these different flecks, and I don't know if it shows up on camera, um, but in this example, you know, you've got some rust, you've got some green, you've got a little bit of a, a brown color. And the one that I'm wearing, you've got some pale, almost um, natural cream color, and then, you know, a little bit of gold, a little bit of yellow. So it adds a nice depth um, to the finished piece. And again, it's smushy and soft and wonderful to work with. Um, so all the details for this will be in the Bethel hat pattern. And I'm going to release this pattern for free to newsletter subscribers. So if you're on the newsletter, uh, you will get a copy of this um, pattern. You'll get a link to download it for free. And if you're not on the newsletter, you can sign up at the link below this video and get yourself a copy of the Bethel hat pattern. So thanks a lot for watching. I am very excited about all these products and months of work finally sort of coming to fruition and being public and out there in the world. And I really hope you enjoy all of these different things, the patterns, um, the lotions and creams. And I hope you'll try them, tell a friend, uh, let us know what you think of them and um, stay tuned. I, I hope to release more patterns in the future and I'll keep developing products um, to, you know, for knitters and for people who make things and to suit your needs. Um, thanks again. And once again, please join us at the Sheep and Wool Festival if you can. I'll put the details in the show notes. I also wanted to mention that in the last one-on-one -on -one video, I did talk about giving you a recipe and an update on my experiment um, with using Queen Anne's lace to dye some yarn, and that video will be coming out next week um, because uh, I do want to share that information for you and give you an update. Um, but I just wanted to share these other things first because they are more timely and I haven't forgotten about the natural dyeing that'll be coming up. Um, we'll also have a wrap up uh, about a week after the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival um, of that event. And my mom has agreed to join us for that one. So that'll be exciting to have her on as a guest and talk about all things sheep and wool. I hope you have a fabulous uh, time knitting or doing whatever kind of craft uh, or making that you're into these days. And I will see you in a week. Cheers. <laughs>